time ago. Hello everyone, I'm the Crappy Gamer. The one of the most controversial game-related YouTube personalities. Clickbait master, podcast king, fame slayer and of course the very handsome guy. Girls, if you're watching just hit that like button. Please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. I would like to welcome all of you to the best podcast on the tube. BGTS, Big Guys Therapy Session. We are here for you Xbox. We have some very very special for you my dear sheeps. Today we have a special guest. Phil, please introduce yourself. Thanks Fred for inviting me on your famous virtual couch. I'm Phil Cancel. I'm the Executive Vice President of Gaming at Microsoft. Currently I'm the head of the Xbox brand. My biggest achievements, Skullbound cancellation and cancellation of all Xbox exclusives. Also I'm the supporter of cancellation single player games and huge loot boxes fan. Oh. My. God. Oh my fucking god. I cannot believe this. Me, crappy and famous goddamn film cancel. In the same podcast. You know what I'm saying man? Phil Cancel in our podcast. Wow. Phil, on the beginning, I would like to thank you. For what? Phil, remember? You liked my tweet. Two years ago. Oh, really? Yes, and you followed me on Twitter. That's why I stopped being a pony. Everything for you, Phil. Damn, the guy is fired. Sorry, Phil, don't understand. Who is fired? The guy from PR, who running my Twitter account. What? But, but, but we were friends and we played years together. You know what I'm saying, man? We played together. Sorry, kid, but no. It was the same PR guy. You didn't know. Microsoft pays random people to run our Twitter accounts. So, he wasn't me for sure. But your account is verified by Twitter. I own by Microsoft. They can verify what they want. Oh, uh -huh. My childhood is destroyed. I can't believe it. I see the positive side of the fact that we were cheated. Now we know that Phil Cancel did not block me and Mooch on Twitter. That was that other guy. Damn. When I got that message that Phil Cancel followed me, I almost got an orgasm. You know what I'm saying, man? Oh god. Guys, we're here to talk about release of the Kraken. You mean... Monster. Yes. A monster, the most powerful console ever made. Can you assure us, that no other console in the future will be more powerful? Guys, it's a monster. So, Phil, do we not have to worry that PlayStation 5 will be more powerful? Don't worry guys, PS5 changed nothing. We will still be on the podium. Phil, wait, podium has three places. Yeah, and we have the three companies in the race. Guys, as I said, PlayStation 5 will change nothing. Podium is ours. But, what if PlayStation 5 will be a true 4K machine? Not possible. True 4K is our registered trademark. Clever. You see, Xbox is the best box. You know what I'm saying, man? Sure I know. Sony is a piece of crap. What? Sony is a part of you? What are you talking about, man? No. You bald idiot. <laughs> I mean Sony has shitty games and consoles. Yes, and shitty exclusives. Yes, that's a part of our strategy. If you do not have any games, nobody will say that your games are shitty. And do not collect low scores on Metacritic. Wow! You guys are amazing. 
PR and marketing geniuses. So as you know, we are after very successful launch of the Xbox One X. We sold almost everything. Well, I guess that is a megaton, as I was at Tesco. And they sold out. Actually, we, I mean Microsoft, did not send any Xboxes to Tesco Network. Everything what they got was from the second hand. What? My Xbox One X is from Tesco. Oh dear. Don't worry. It's not a problem. It died anyway, so I will buy another one from Amazon. Timmy bought 15 Xboxes. He said that one of them is still working. Lucky Bustard. <laughs> Phil, we have consoles. We already know that we can't count on exclusives. But what about Japanese games? And as you know, I recently went to Japan to talk strategy there. Oh yes, we need strategy there. As I know, in Japan, the PlayStation Vita, fucking Vita, sales better than Xbox One X. You know what I'm saying, man? That's why I brought Aaron with me for help. But unfortunately he couldn't get to the security. Oh, I knew that. Rice eaters hate white people. No, nothing like that. He just got stuck in the security gate. I had to leave him there. Really? You left him there? Yes, but don't worry, he has phone and food. So yes, I went to the major Japanese stores, and they each want to order 100 Xbox One Xs. They love our exclusives. Like Craphead best-selling Xbox exclusive. Yes, that's a massive hit. And real exclusive. Yeah, nobody cares about PC. Congratulations on keeping that away from the ponies. Thank you, wasn't easy. One of them now haunts my bedroom. Under the bed, in the closet. Behind the Windows 10, he is everywhere. Really I can't sleep, I'm scared every night. Oh shit, I think I know who you're talking about. Everyone knows him. Ponies call him Tardinator. He got this big piece of snot. Yes. It's him. Not the fucking chuck. <laughs> anyway, I am really excited about the best game in history. PUBG. Phil, can you explain what PUBG means? Yes, sure. Are you ready? PUBG, partly undeveloped baby game. <laughs> Another great exclusive. Launch exclusive for sure. Yes. As I said, exclusive. Launch exclusive. This game will go to PS4 too. Seems should call them. I think it's the rated as on PC too. It is such a vast community. Loads of games like Horizon Zero Dawn. That's on Pony Station Bro, but Phil will get it to Xbox. Right, Phil? Backward compatibility is the great function. Loads of new games to play. And it's for free. Genius. Guys, you are geniuses. As I said, the future of the Xbox One X is bright. We gotta bring only multiplayer games and old backward compatibility games. Because single player economically and responsible. Phil, please do me a favor. Can we stop talking about backward compatibility? Oh, why? Ponies laugh at us. They calling us archaeologists because we digging in the past and looking for something to play. Because we do not have new games. But guys, why don't you stop listening jealous people and start playing X360 games? We bring you the feature everyone wanted. But Phil, on the beginning you said that Xbox One is not. Is not backwards compatible. I sold all my 360 games to get cash for Xbox One. It was $500. Now I need to rebuy everything back. We listened to the gamers. Gamers wanted old games, now they have what they wanted. You don't like Connect? Okay, I cancelled it. We doing everything what you want. That was your request. But nobody wanted Connect from the beginning. But who forced you to buy a Connect? Oh wait. Ira, stop crying. I'm crying every day. I'm sorry, Phil, for this stupid idiot. We love you. And we love Xbox. You are the best. So, Phil, 
I read that in the UK, Grand Turismo Sport sold three times more than Forza 7. Everyone knows they cheating. They buy more than one copy at a time. But anyway, UK is insignificant. Crappy. Do you know I'm from the UK, yes? Sorry, didn't know. Where is it? Near to the Kentucky? <laughs> Thank you guys for the interview. Unfortunately, my time is over for today. Thanks again. Aww. Thank you, Phil. And I'm sorry for what I said about backwards compatibility. Never happen again. Love you. Biggest fan. Kisses. Thank you, Phil.